today Joe me at Micklewright's Flash for a midweek session I've got um, a week off work so for a change I've come down Micklewright's Flash not fished here for ages and um, this is the type of intro that you want to do yeah I've literally been fishing 10 minutes and um, right hand rod went ripped off from near the island and carp on it in the net there not unhooked yet and as, as I put the rod down the left hand rod went and um, thankfully it was a little bream so I just reeled it in really so it was quite good because I didn't even need net properly so yeah oh that's where they had my bream from where that's just exactly there and the other one was towards the island not right up to it but like about the rod length off maybe a bit more so yeah what a start so I'm just going to um, sort this fish out you know keep matting everything still on barra so I'll sort all out and look it and then we'll have a quick look at it I've just put my left rod in there, just, just in close, look, it's fizzing up there, I don't know if you can see it, but still fizzing up like mad. Um, just put that in, dropped her in, just sorted my second rod out. Um, my right, left rod just ripped off, I just chucked my solid bag in there, what I've got on, and um, got it in the net. The other one, I was just about to show you once I got this rod in, is in the waist sling there, just chilling. Oh my god, that spot is fizzy, not like mine's probably bream. Let me see if I can get that. That's ridiculous. Right, let me sort myself out and uh, show you these couple of fish. I think the second one's a bit smaller, but guys, two, two fish, and, well, two carp and a bream in what, 20 minutes? Mad. That right, spot is going bonkers out there. Right, so let me sort my rods out and um, have a quick look. That solid bag that he had made up that he had to chuck in my bucket because my other rod ripped off. I thought I'll just get that out um, and sort the fish out. I've put it out and before I've, before I've done anything, it's literally been in the water four minutes and it's gone again. So I've got three fish now and I'm going to have to sort them out. So I'm not putting any rods in, I'm going to sort these fish out and show you. So yeah, I've got, got one in there, my landing mat, one in my unhooking mat, because I've took the bottom out of it so it's not it's got um, water in it. And then I've just got that one in there. I just set my other um, landing net up just in case, because I'd had two quick bites, I thought, just in case it goes again, I'll set it up. And it wasn't even five minutes, it was about three minutes, three or four minutes, and it was gone. All I did was cast it, well, put it in with the boat, pick that rod up there, I was just going to do that bag. And before you even put the rod down, it had gone. It's ridiculous. So right, I'm going to get all three out now and empty everything because I can't leave any. I've got run out of net, so I'll show you them all now. Two small ones and a one look like it's a bit decent, so let's have a look anyway. Yeah, two from the island and a bream and a carp from the margin swim just here. So where's the f so where's the first one? Um, I just remembered something about here because not been here for a while. That the fish go bonkers on the mat. They always do. Don't know why, but they do. So where's the first one? I'll tell you what. There's tons of fry in me net. In me um, net. Loads of them. So it's been in there five minutes and it's just caught loads of fry. This might kick off. This I can feel it. I'm not going to be long with a nice little little common there. All right, I'll get the other one out. Don't like not having me um, my sided on hooking mat, but yeah, belter. Then that was the, that was the second one I caught, so I'll just go and get the other one and let this one go. So here's the first cart that he had. Um, so it's in the cradle. Oh, fry. Oh. Oh, in. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit better. And as I said, just goes bonkers. Just go bonkers on the bank. As soon as you go to pick them up. 
thick like this every time bloody hell ridiculous must have been resting as well but doesn't matter here honestly you get beat up every time you go to pick them up I'm gonna get up in a minute look at this I'm gonna do it quick there we are gonna go way up there we go quick when you're gonna do the one side because it's not worth the effort so yeah nice nice little common I think there's a lot I think off memory they're all commons near enough, near enough. Is there? plastic tube so yeah all right can we get this back and get the third one out right there's the last one I've just had it's gonna go bonkers as well I can tell um, still got no rods in barely just been around check my card um, yeah and it's raining I've got no bivvy up and my bed chairs getting piss, peed wet through so I don't know what to do anyway let's get this fish back and sorted oh so kicking off I'm only going to be quick come away no you don't Jesus right it's going to be quick there we are before he kicks off little one again but all welcome especially three don't know what time it is but I'm bloody I'm hot sweating running around uh, so yeah anyway three fish in 20 minutes and a bream can't be bad right gonna get this back get sorted get everything ready and then get fishing again catch up in a bit still not managed to get both rods out I just managed to get one of my rods out and it's gone again and I've unhooked it it's in the landing net there but I've just chucked my second rod out now and it's bucketing it down so I'm going to have a few minutes just see if it eases off before we get this fish out uh, yes oh, it's gone yeah it's gone it come off it was a bream thought it wasn't a carp because he didn't pull the bobbin dead tight uh, yeah there's a little bream and it just pinged off which I'm not too bothered about but yeah no rods in now I don't know what to do it's absolutely bucketing it down trying to use solid bags and me, I can't get my hands dry enough so I might have to change my rigs but I'm scared then I won't have enough as many bites well I'm gonna have to do something because I'm soaking my stuff got a bit damp before when I tried to um, sort the fish out and it started raining so I'm a bit snookered really getting on for half four now and it's not stopped raining for an hour an hour and a half or something like that um, I brought my rods in for half an hour I just couldn't face going out in it and um, trying to do me, sort my solid bags out anyway uh, too wet I can't, I can't do my solid bags so basically I've swapped rigs now and I've still not had two rods in the water yet except for the first 15 minutes of the session about one o'clock or half one whatever it was um, I've still not had two rods in the wall. Like I said, I just swapped my rigs over to um, my normal bottom bait rigs, just because it's so wet. I can't, I just can't keep everything dry. My PVA stuff. Um, put my left rod in um, in the margin spot. That went off before I got me the other rod in. So put it landing net again, and then took my right hand rod out. And while I was taking my left hand back rod out left hand rod back out it's gone again so now I've got literally in the space of six set six ten minutes I've got three fish again in the nets and I've run out of landing nets so I'm gonna have to sort them out just it's just easing the rain now so I'm hoping it's gonna stop for five minutes I've still 
not even peg my bivy out. I've not had time to peg my bivy out or nothing. Um, yeah, absolutely bonkers. I think that's six carp and a bream and the lost a bream or lost two bream I can't remember but yeah what a mad session I've not had a chance to do nothing I've not had a brew nothing so I'm going to sort, sort these fish out because I've got three there now to sort out right these are probably the best two of the four these are the first two we had out and then they had a rechuck and then the other two rods went again, went again. I just said he had one rod in the water. I tried to take, I was just about to take the boat out and the other rod went again. So I've got no rods in the water again. I think this is, I've had, I think I've had seven now, I think. Anyway, one's one, got a nice mirror in here, to be honest. There's common. The other, the other two are smaller than this, but doesn't matter. I don't matter, like. God. Like I said, they just come. They just, that one's got a bit of mouth damage on that one. Um, it's just going bonkers on the, in the net again. So yeah, there's basically standard for here, but the average size, maybe a bit smaller than average. But yeah, nice fish. I'm not going to spend days because they've been. I need to get my rods back out, and I need to. Um, not, like I say, I'm not even pegging my bivy down yet. This one's a nicer fish. Uh, the mirror as well. Not the first mirror I've had out today. A bit bigger. I don't know, about 14 pounds or something like that. I'm not weird. Not a bloody time. This one's going bonkers again. This one fought a bit more, to be honest. But it's, I thought it was, Jesus. I can't believe why they do this all the time in here. Non stop. Come on. Come on. Only for two minutes and then you can go back in. Oh, God. At last. There we go. Mirror for a change. But yeah, that one fought quite well. That one was made up with that one. So I'm going to show the other two. They're only two small commons, but I may as well uh, show you them anyway. Right, go and get them. <clears throat> oh, bloody knacker today. My mic's getting caught everywhere because I've not put it on properly. Um, yeah, these are the last two are caught. Still got no rods in. I'm going to sort these out, let them all go, and then. I'm going to peg my bivy down, then I'm going to cast my rods out. So it's common here. This is a tiny one. Not even double figures this one. I'm going to flick him up dead quick. Go on that out of the way. Little tiny one. It's even small for you there. Well, yeah. They're all welcome. Maybe not at 2 in the morning, but in the daytime. All good. All good in the day. And then this one is absolutely mint. It's a lovely fish, this other one. A bit fatter. It's a mid, mid double or something. Maybe a bit more. Not weighed any of them. Oh, just stop kicking. I'm going to get tail slapped in a minute. Alright, so let's see if I can. Go on, Mum. Right, there we go. Yeah, this is a lovely fish, this. Lovely, aren't it? I've had one very similar to this last time I was here, about 18 pounds. It, no, it was bigger than this. Oh, lovely, lovely condition there. And a good scrap as well. Just on my bottom bait rigs. Took my solid bags off, I've just said. But yeah, just on my normal bottom bait rigs. Whee! Right, I'm going to get these back. They've, they've been cooped up long enough. Still, still kicking off though. Oh. I'm only knackered. I've only been here, what, three and a half hours or something, three hours and knackered. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to sort these out, sort my bivy out and then rechuck and see what happens. I can't see it keep staying like this. I can't see it runs every rods and night water, ten minutes. So, yeah, right, sort myself out.
Hey, it's five o'clock and I've got two rods in for the first time. Just took them both out in the boat. And yeah, I've not, pick, not pegged my bivvy down yet, but that's what I'm gonna do now before anything happens. I can't see this hap I can't see this coming on for the next few hours or anything. I must get a break in a minute. Rain's just stopping now as well, so I'm made up. So I'm gonna try and sort myself out now and dry a few bits and bobs off. So yeah, hopefully I'll have a rest bite for 10 minutes and I can just sort myself out. Oh my God. Five minutes ago I just said I've got two rods in made up. Oh shh. And go sort that out. Yeah, five minutes ago I said um got two rods out. Started pegging my bivvy, got halfway round, just doing the front. Both rods went off at the same time. So I've got one unbarbed and one barbless. Don't know why. I think it's because that's the first rigs I come across before when it was peeing down. So got the one unbarbless, landed that one, got the one on the barbed, got that one in, and the one the barb has just come off as I was netting the the first one. And I just swung out my net and when I just lifted my net up, my bar, the um, hook stuck in net, so it must have shut the hook and then just decided to um, vacate the net on me. It was only a small one. But yeah, so I had two fish in there, now I've got one left. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish pegging my bivvy now and then get my rods back out again. I think that's fish number nine then. Some session this. I'm not going to set the camera up for this one. Um, little common as I said, the other one escaped. It, had, it was it was the barbless one that fell off and then um, I seen it, I seen it swim off and I picked my rod up thinking my line was going to go tight and then, and then it, my line didn't move and I thought, oh, and I lifted my rod up and it was hooked in the in the um, landing net, but yeah, so pristine, not in good condition like, but I'm not going to lift it up and do all that, I'm going to put it back, I need to get, it's starting to rain again, I need to get my bivvy all pegged out properly, so right, I'm going to get my rods back in and um, see what happens. No, I don't want to start catching these. Oh dear, definitely don't want one of them. Coming up to seven o'clock now. Um, that rod's been out for 20 minutes now and I've not had a run on it. Unheard of, unheard of today. So yeah, that one's out, but my right one's gone and another snotter. Oh, I can do without them, so yeah. I've had to bulk out my hemp mix with a bit of um, sweet corn and that because I was running out. I wasn't, ex I wasn't expecting so many runs to be honest. So I've only been putting an handful of hemp in and it's, it's over halfway gone so I've bulked it out with some corn. So obviously the bloody bream are going to come in. Plus I'm using pellet, an handful of pellet as well. So yeah, um, I'm going to get this rod back out. It'll be dark in an hour and hour, hour and a half. Probably about an hour tonight because it's a bit grey and miserable so yeah let's get sorted and uh, could do with a bit drying a bit of stuff out as well before it goes dark but um not not one little bit of um, rain now flat calm no wind so yeah let's um let's make the most of um the no rain hopefully it'll hold off now all day all night and all tomorrow we'll see Oh God, I feel absolutely goose today. Loads of these little fry again. Uh, yeah, this one's got a bit of mouth damage, this one. Uh, only a little, little common again, but yeah, uh, all welcome. Don't know if this is fish number 10, maybe. Well, cart number 10, I've had two, two or three, three bream as well. I was getting breamed out on this run and all of a sudden carps picked it up so just ridiculous these on the mat they are ridiculous every even the bream when I was putting the bream in the land and hooking mat they were going bonkers I'm like a bream doesn't even move look at it I'm sure these got bloody circus these acrobats yeah I'm not holding him for long because he's going to flip out like a nutter but yeah, only a little one. 
with single figures. But yeah, it didn't really put up much of a scrap. I thought it was a big bream at first, till they got closer in. But yeah, a bit of mouth damage on that. I don't know if you can see. Probably getting dragged in or something. But yeah, happy days. Can't see it. I hope it's not quite this mad tonight. I'm never gonna. I'm gonna end up reeling my rods in. Oh, I'm gonna run out. Of yes. Oh, I'm gonna run out of bait. One of the two. Right, uh, it's gonna be dark in 45 minutes. That rod. That was. That was the one I just put in and said, oh, it's about seven o'clock or something. And the other one's not gone off. The other one's still not gone off. Well, then this was out for five minutes, if that, and it's gone again. So that spot's still going. Um, the margin spot's quietened down now. Anyway, right, let's sort this out and get it, get it released. Same rod on the island's gone again. Must be eight o'clock now. I'm not checked. I'm just trying to sort myself out for the night. Um, Bivy lights and all that crap. I'll have a quick look. It's just a, another small coming. Not much more you can say about them really, but yeah. Not sure how good it's going to pick it up. I've not set the lighting up or anything properly, but there you go. So, uh, I'm going to get my rod back out now just before it goes dark. Um, yep, yeah, number 11, I think. Not sure. Yeah, right. Um, nice. No brew. Jesus, it's a going bonkers. These. I've not had a brew today. I've not had nothing to eat since my breakfast this morning. I've not, not had a chance. So hopefully, I'm going to get half an hour's rest by now. I'm just going to um, make myself some eat, have a nice cup of coffee, and all that. Hopefully, I'll get a few minutes peace. Right, sort it out. Another little common, nine o'clock, and another little common showed its face. Uh, right hand rod again from towards the island. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna um, set the tripod up and that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this rod back out, but yeah, I think that's number 13 or something like that. Don't know. Not quite sure. But yeah, I managed managed to get some of these, but not, not, never managed to make a brew, so. Uh, I've just had some some munch, and I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna get this back, and then get my rod back out. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Finally, finally, re relax now. It's coming up to ten o'clock. I've had some to eat. On my first brew of the. Well, the afternoon. I got here this afternoon, and this is my first brew. Let's take that off, actually. My first brew I've had. Ah, oh, I feel knackered. What a what a mad day that's been, or a mad afternoon fishing. It's slowed down a bit now, I think. Anyway, um, I've had one fish since gone dark. Whereas before, I'd have had about four bloody fish. I'm glad to be honest, I don't think I could keep that up all night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have this brew. Um, I might stay up for an hour and then get my head down, if I can. And then tomorrow I'll show you what I've been using and stuff. I've just not had a chance today. I've hardly done any, like, any normal filming or anything. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you what I've been using tomorrow. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing major. Um, and what bait? Um, take it from there. I have brought my float rod with me to do some bit fishing because I thought if, if the carp is a bit slow, I'll do some. I'll catch some roach. Bring one of my rods in and um, do some bit fishing. I might even do that tomorrow, yeah, for a little bit. And I've also brought um, a little bit of pike gear as well because we're coming here. For the same reason, if the cart weren't biting, I was going to stick a um, pipe rod out. Plus, I've got I've got something here, a new whatever it is. It's gone. Can't find it. Underneath my bed chair, I've got a um, a new catfish rig. That I'll, it's a catfish rig, but I think it'll work for piking. So I wanted to try that tomorrow. 
but I'll have to see. I'll have to see what happens with the weather and how tired I am. So, um, so yeah, um, right. I'm gonna finish this. Well, start this brew. Let me add one mouthful. I'm gonna have, to have this brew. Stay up for an hour. Get my head down. See what happens. Um, see how manic it is. Or it might go dead. It might die. It might go dead. I don't know. Anyway, if we don't get out, I'll see you in the morning. If I do, I'll um, catch up with you in a bit. Just gone half past ten, and we have another common in the net. It's about ten pound, if that, something like that. Number fourteen, I think. Oh, I'm gonna get this one. I'm knackered. I'm gonna have to have another brew, I think. Uh, have to sort this out and get the rods back out again. Every single one has been like this, just going bonkers on the net, on the mat even. So just don't stop. I'll let it flip itself out and then I'll um, try and sort it. Still going. Every single one I've caught, even the bream have done this. Yeah, it's finished now. Right, let's try and keep my head torch out of it, but it's not the head torch that's doing it. It's every single one's done it in the daylight, wherever. Right, let's get it sorted. Morning, morning. That was a bit of a strange night. Uh, one fish, about half ten, I think I was on the phone to me, missus, before she went to bed, and it screamed off. And then they had another run about oh, two o'clock, I think, something like that. And apart from that, dead. Had the odd little bleep and stuff in the night, but uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely dead. I was expecting to be up after night. I was, I was, I was actually dreading it a bit, thinking that I'm going to get no sleep, but as it happened, um, dead quiet. Very strange. It's been a bit of fizzing this morning. It's about 8 o'clock now, I've been up since 7, but I'm just going to redo my rods and um, I'll show you what bait I'm using. So yeah, I'll do it now. I'll get these rods out and sorted while it's fizzing up and um, see if we can nick another one before we go home. Now I've got a bit of time, I'll show you where they've been fishing. See that pile on there, in the background, there. I've been fishing one just under halfway to there. That's why I've classed as my margin spot. Um, they were both doing bites up to last night, and then the island spot. I've just been fishing the front of that island there, but probably about, I'd say more than a rod length, probably one and a half, two rod lengths off it. And, um, well, it's where that fizzing is actually. You can see it. Been fishing it around about there where that fizzing, that fish, that fizzing is about that distance off the island. Um, so yeah, but at the moment I've just put two back out there on the fizzing. So this is basically what I've been using. Um, as you can see my hot bait there, little, little wafter. <laughs> And then all's, all's I've been putting is a handful, that's two rods worth of that because I'm going to try and drop two rods off at once. So um, basically there's a handful of pellet, um, a sprinkle of hemp which has now got sweet corn in because it's running out of that bulking out. About six crumbed up boilies, crushed boilies, uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh there's a couple of tiger nuts in there I think. I think that was in the mix. So yeah, basically that's that's what I've been using and that's the amount of bait I've been putting in. Well the rods are in, I'm just gonna make myself a brew and something to eat. Um I am a little bit tired to be honest. I think I was expecting the rods to go all the time so I didn't sleep properly. Uh yeah, I've got about three or four hours fishing left. I'm gonna check my phone now and see See if there's any um, rain forecast, if there is, I'm going to get off before that. Let my stuff dry out a bit from yesterday and then disappear before the rain if it's forecast. If not, 
I got here about one o'clock, so I've got till one o'clock ish, 24 hours. Um, yeah, let's see if we can just nick a couple more. And um, I don't even know if I stick a pipe rod out here. We'll see for an hour or two. Let's see, I've got a couple of baits here, so I might do. Anyway, let's get some of the eat and a brew on and wake up. What a lovely morning it is. Completely different than yesterday afternoon when it smashed it down. I've checked my phone, there's no no rain forecast, so there's no rush to pack up, so I'll have to be off just after dinner. Um, a couple more people have turned up now, I think there's three of us on it. Someone to my right, I think he's just had one actually, and someone to my left, a couple of pegs down. Yeah, um, and a few liners on one of my rods. I'm tempted to go back to solid bags in a bit, but we'll see. I'm going to um, start, I'm going to pack, why there's no rain forecast, I'm going to pack all my stuff up, get it all on my barrow ready, and then just sit on my bed chair for the final few hours. I don't think I'm going to bother with the pike fishing, it's too nice, too hot. I've just um, took my rigs off and just put some solid bag, solid bag and my rods going. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by Mr Carp, I had literally just cast one of them small solid bags out. Um, I've got it in by the way, it's just sitting there, there. I've not unhooked it yet. Um, I've just cast one of them out, I put a small, I've been using medium, but I put a small one out because I've put a bit of bait out there with the boat, so I thought there's enough out there now to keep them grubbing and I'm going in a couple of hours. So I'll put a little in on. I mean, that rod's been out there for, what, at least two hours, nothing, and I've changed from the rig I'm going to show you to a solid bag rig, and within five minutes got one. There's got to be something in it. So, yeah, that's what um, I'm, I was using. So I've had, basically, um, that's what I'm using, this solid bag rig, but I've got um, a sticky manila laughter on it not this this is from this is an old one and then when it started absolutely hammering down yesterday and I couldn't use my bags I ended up putting this combi combi rig on bit of a what you call it flora cam and a soft supple uh, just a anti-tangle um, that's what I've been using from about three o'clock yesterday wherever it started raining uh, so I've just swapped back now to my solid bag and just add one straight away. First fish of today, to be honest. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna unhook it now, flick it back out and see if I can get a couple more before I go home. But not bad, 15 carp or something like that. And a couple of couple of um bream and a couple of losses. But not bad. So yeah, there's my rigs. Um where's my Let's see where they are. Here they are. That's what I've been I'm using sticky manila, manila dumbbells. Manila powder to dip me rig in and put a bit in the bag. Some small manila boilies and some pellets. And that's basically all I've been using today. Then I, I was at beginning sprinkling a bit of hemp in. Whether that made a difference, I don't know, but I caught on it so I kept doing it. That come from the island, so I'm just going to fire that back out now. Not been, I've not used the bolt this morning, I've just chucked the cast them in these bags, so um, I'm just going to cast this back out now. Catch up with you in a bit, I'll show you the fish in a minute. It just looks like another small common, to be honest, they're normal for here, but I'll show you anyway. So there's my prize. Whoa. There's my, um, my little common, a little bit of mouth damage again. But, I've had a couple now with mouth damage and um, I know a few years back when I fished it they were all mint but it's time to get a little bit of damage on them, shame really. And there's my rig, I thought I might as well show you now. Um, solid bag rig, excuse me, solid bag rig and a little manila wafter on, and that is it. So I'm going to get it back now, it took me about what, £8 or something. Not quite sure. See if we can nick a couple more before I go home. I'm just going to whack this solid bag out now. 
and um, this one's behaving actually on the mat for a change. Literally cast that solid bag back out, put the kettle on. The kettle is just about to boil and I've landed the fish. <laughs> it was out five minutes again. Well, let's turn that off. There. So there's got to be something in the solid bags, definitely. I've had two rods out there. Since 8 o'clock, half 7, 8 o'clock this morning, it's now quarter past 20 past 10. I've had nothing and then within 20 minutes of changing over to the solid bags, I've had two. Two fish. I brought, and that, and I brought the other rod close in. So on one rod I've had two fish and I've had two rods out there for two hours and nothing on the other rigs. So there's got to be something in the solid bags. They definitely working better. And there he is, another angry little common, bit of mouth damage on it again. Yeah, a lot of them this size. I don't think you're going to break any records here. I think the biggest I've had out is 18 and a half and that was a couple of years ago last time I was here. I think biggest I've had this session out of the 16 fish is about 15-ish. I didn't weigh it but it's about 15 pound. Um, yeah, so I think there's a couple of 20s in here. I don't think you're going to break any records here, but I come to get a bend in my rod, and I've certainly, certainly done that. Right, let's get this rod back in again on bags. I've um, kind of packed up. I'm just drying my baby off. Oh, God. The nutters on the. I'm bloody mad back in. Kind of um, packed up, I'm just drying all my stuff off from yesterday. So, right, let's get this fish back sorted. Just sorting this solid bag out and my rod's pulled tight on my left one now. I don't think it's a carp though because it's not, I think it's just a bream or something. Bobbin's gone up. Not pulling any line. I do fish bit locked up like but must be a run anyway let's go and salt it not even got that bag done yet yep I was right a little tiny skimmer or bream whatever you want to call it it's only about a pound I've not knocked it yet it's still in there I'm just gonna get this solid bag knocked up now fire that out and then sort that one out so I'm not even gonna show you it. it's not even worth it like the size of my hand anyway Right, so just pour my brew out at least and have a slurp of that, get this bag made up and cast it out. And another 10 minutes later, I've just cast both rods in, drank my brew and I've had a double take. <laughs> Ridiculous this. It's going, it's going the same way as yesterday where you can't keep a rod in water. Um, left one, carp, right one, decent sized bream. So yeah, I knew the right one was a bream when it took it because it didn't. But you can tell because of the line's not bowstring tight. The left one was like really tight and started to gain a little bit of line. So played the left one in first and then took the took the bream in. Ah, oh, bonkers! I've got to be off soon. I'm going to have to start setting packing my bivy up, which is still all drying behind me. It's nice and dry now. So bloody slug being on my bed last night. I didn't know. Nice. Right, I'm going to put two more bags on and then I'm going to have to probably call it a day soon. And there we have it, the double take. A little common and a bream. So there we are. The um, rewards of my fishing. Not a bad bream though. And a nice common. Behaving on the net for a change. Uh, it's tangled me up a bit because I've had two in the net. I'm just going to have to sort them out in a minute. Right, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to have to be off soon. I'm going to do another chuck and then get my barrel loaded up, I think. One carp from that double hook up again. That's two double, three double hook ups I think I've had. 
and in this one is Mr. Bream. I thought that was a Bream, that's why I left it to the last one. He, I got half my bivvy in its sack and then um, they both ripped off. Mad as, mad as biscuits. I've put the Bream back, but there's the carp where I had on my double take. They're all very similar, that's why I'm not holding them up and all that, plus I've had too many. Um, all the little fry in the net again. Bonk. Look at them all, loads of them. I'm going to get this little angry fella back. Oh. Coming up to the last half hour, half an hour, Jesus. The last half an hour now, it's about half eleven, so I'm probably just going to have my last two chucks now and then pack up. Right, see you in a bit. Another bream on my right hand rod. Oh, I'm about to pack up now. I've just chucked my right hand rod back out without even having a bag on it. That's how confident I am. So, right, let's get it back. I'm, gets, I'm pretty much packed up now, to be honest. So, I'm just going to give it five minutes and reel my rods in and then take my stuff to the car. Well, that's it. The session's come to an end. Um, not a bad session, be honest. A load of fish, nothing big, but loads of fish. It's what I came for. But I didn't have anything after that last bream. Um, I wasn't really expecting anything, to be honest. But yeah, it's one o'clock-ish now, just before one o'clock. Um, I've been packed up about three quarters now. I've just been chatting to one of the guys who was fishing next to me. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'm not sure where I'm going Thursday. I'm out Thursday. And then Sunday I'm hopefully going Commonwood on the Catfish Lake. Just hoping I'm not too late for catch one because the weather's on the turn. It's lovely today but I think it's going cooler so we might have missed the boat. I'm out with Big Stew on Sunday so I want to get one in Baggy's first cat. We've um, been trying to plan it all summer anyway. This is the first chance we've had to get together on Sunday. And it's just dropped on its bank holiday Monday so... Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and wherever I go next, hopefully I might do another video. Not hardly done any this year, so I could do with um, sorting myself out and doing a few. Not sure why, just um, just haven't felt like, to be honest, I don't know. But um, yeah, so hopefully it'll start. It's better when you're in, there's two, so when I'm out with Stu um, and there's two of us, it's easier. just seems it's loads of hassle on your own trying to set everything up, but... Um, yeah, I'll be out with Stu, so I'll try and do a video at Commonwood. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and catch you next time.